Well, hidden under all of this are <laughs> lots of tattoos. She has like 12 tattoos, yeah. right? She got into that early. How did you get into that? And like, why? And how how, how old were you when you had your first tattoo? Um, okay, I can show them. I can show them. See if this shirt goes up enough. My first tattoo was actually oh, this one. I like the one. red one. Thank red you. Ink. It says Ivy in Lights. And that's like one of my first songs that I had dropped. Like, okay. I got this tattoo when I was 17. <laughs> A baby. And some of my tattoos are just cool. Like this this one says so amazing. That's actually the studio that I work out of mm -hmm. with my mentor, my my dude back there. He's kind of like, you know, taught me everything, took me under his wing at a young age, never mm -hmm. charged me, just taught, taught me how to make music basically. So I got that tatted. The snakes, I really love, I love what, what snakes, like snakes like. I like what they symbolize. I mean, like so you probably shedding like cats your skin. Too. You like cats too, don't you? I'm a dog. <laughs> girl, girl, girl. I got. I can't show you this one because the sleeve don't go up. Yeah. I have a tattoo of my cat. So you have? Yep. I was right. I was right. Snakes I and cats. I have a cat. Yep. Yes. Her name is Katana. She's the love of my life, literally. Katana. Like, she sounds mm -hmm. a little feisty. She's actually so sweet. She's so tiny and like. Because Katana Fire. reminds me of like a little, a little ninja. Or like yeah, that. a katana sword. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The sword. <laughs> That's okay. why I named her that. I mean. I, I just like the name. <laughs> okay, so clearly you like getting tattoos. You like the mm -hmm. adrenaline rush or whatever it is mm -hmm. that it gives you. All right, so we're going to set a scene. Okay. All right. <laughs> Close your eyes again. <clears throat> All right, I don't know what kind of tattoo shops you're in. I don't know mm -hmm. what's playing around in the background. If there's candles lit, if there's anything going on. But this is just you and the tattoo artist. Mm -hmm. Nobody there. And let's say you're getting a tattoo on your back, like up your spine. And I'm sure that probably feels like hell, but for you, it's very invigorating. Mm. What song is playing in the background as you're getting that tat up your spine? Hmm. I feel like I'm thinking for some reason, ASAP Rocky LSD. Okay, I like that. <laughs> I don't know why. I have some really great memories to a lot of his that yeah. the, that that are. That section of his sound. Mm -hmm. I love it yeah. because it's like it's so calming. It's like it, it was fire, but it's still kind of grungy too. Yeah, that's yeah. what I like about it. Okay, his. I can see that. Yeah. All right, so if I ever get a tat, I gotta listen to LSD. Yeah, yeah, especially if it's on my back, up my spine. All right, so <laughs> okay, well, when when you got your latest tat, the one like down the middle. Oh yeah. Well, tell me what it means. Like. So this is <laughs> this is gonna sound hilarious. I am obsessed with this show. It's a cartoon. It's called Adventure Time. I don't okay. know if you ever watched it. Mm -mm. And the main character, he has like a bunch of swords. So this is one of the swords that I got tatted right here. One gotcha. of my favorite swords. Yeah. So you like swords and snakes and cats <laughs> and like ninja. Yeah. Do you like dressing up for Halloween? Yeah. What was the last thing you wore for Halloween? I was Gara from Naruto. Okay, so I don't really know anything about that. <laughs> but I but also was Little Red Riding Hood. This sounds like a sword, though. Basically. Okay. Well, he he's a his his main like power, I guess you could say, to make it is sand. So he's cool. He's cool. Yeah. He he has like dark eyeliner. He has like red hair. Who's up? Mm. Copy. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, definitely very. You have a wide like a a, a wide range in taste. Oh my god! From yeah. music to shows, I would have never <laughs> thought you said anything about Naruto Adventure Time. Adventure, Adventure Time. wait—is Adventure Time a kid show or is that an anime? It's it's actually it is considered a kid show, but it has a lot of adult humor in it. Like it so sounds like, like and it's you very see. trippy and it's deep. So oh, okay. Like, if so you watch it, they have some moments where you're like, "Holy, that hit." And kids just don't get it. Yeah, yet. well, honestly, no, like SpongeBob and stuff was like that first back then. <laughs> I didn't even realize it until. No, SpongeBob is also, it's like kind of like one of those shows that have hidden like adult. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. All right. Well, since we switched the scene up, now I want to talk about something different. I want to talk about your perspective on just like the current like pop culture and music mm -hmm. and entertainment in general. Are there any trends that you have been like really happy to see come alive? Hmm. Oh, for me, mm -hmm. I think, I don't know if it's considered a trend. I wouldn't say it's a trend, but I'm very happy that like, women of color expressing our natural hair. Yeah. That's kind of been my thing. Cause I remember growing up and feeling so ashamed of like my hair. And now it's kind of a trend to have froze and locks and braids and stuff like that. So it's like, I think that's pretty dope. Have you always been natural? Yeah. Okay, that's a beautiful thing. <laughs> I that's know, I almost, thing. I almost went into like, you know, I wanted to get, what's it called? Like a perm? A perm or relaxers and stuff like that. Um, Almost. Thank God I didn't do it because somehow it became like 
a cool at thing. least you had a choice i didn't even know i was i had a permit until i got to a certain really? age and i'm like yeah I, well i do remember the first time not maybe not the first time but i remember being in the sink this this was like when i was like five probably no. burnt yeah well it didn't but like the the, the kitty perms were a little mm, bit different back mm. then but I just remember getting the perm and like that was just like the natural like every ever every couple of weeks or whatever yeah. have, have, however many weeks that was the process you there with your mama you sit in the sink and blah 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 and then I was like okay well when I got to college actually when I got to college I my dad was not necessarily a fan of weave and stuff so mm -hmm. it was like okay either I got to learn how to do my own hair or I'm the, I don't know, I'm the SOL. So I started learning how to do my own hair, but I'm like, oh wow, what is this hair? I never seen my hair grow like this before. Oh I didn't know God. I had, I had no idea I had curls. Like my little, well, I can't take this off. I see curls, them, right? you see my I see you, the baby hairs. My little, and this, oh. is, this is the braid that fell out, but look. It's a curl <laughs> you see that, oh. She's cute. Yes. <laughs> my, my curls are cute. But like I go back to again like the the mm -hmm. beauty shop moments and like just being a part of that like that was so much of my identity with mm -hmm. hair it's like going and get my hair done all the time and like coming out with it pressed straight and all that other stuff mm -hmm. and now I'm like seeing so much more of it's so it's more, in, in, yeah. Yeah, in media in general but I definitely positive I definitely think even in music like seeing artists like Chloe wear her locks and things right. like that like locks like and the people are mad but i think that you know hello like hello for years they never really they never really acknowledged like mm -hmm. different cultures and different hairs and stuff like that so that's what i think is cool now i think that's dope you know and i think okay. it's, it's nice like it's finally because i remember being a kid and like putting 10 pounds of gel in my hair trying to make my hair less frizzy or something um, yeah, and then it caking up and it getting white it and it crazy. getting crazy and then like Literally. you have no movement and then, oh my goodness, yeah, no. 